Kansas is training for the Chicago Marathon while completing her teaching certificate and pursuing a Ph.D. in education. Lindsay Douglas of Kansas. Kansas. Hi, I'm Lindsay Douglas, and I'm a communications major at the University of Kansas. I have been singing professionally with my twin sister and our friend Noelle for 11 years as three wishes. I enjoy working out, especially running and playing basketball. Kansas. Kansas. Faces are loaded. We've seen them in swimsuits and evening gowns. And now the judges have narrowed down the top 12 to the final five. Here are the choices in random order. First up, Kansas. a lot of game and face some pretty mean opponents but this is one time I can say I am glad I don't have to do this the top five delegates will now have to answer a question that was submitted by the other delegates my only advice is ladies just be yourself that's what counts okay we're gonna start with Kansas please reach in and select your question The delegate from Vermont asked, how have the events of September 11th affected you personally? Well, personally, it has just made my family mean more to me than I could ever possibly imagine. I just really think that life is so precious, and I know that anybody that has lost someone in September 11th, those, they are angels now, and they are looking down at us. But it has made me realize just how important my family is to me. Thank you. Next, we have Indiana. Please. We're back, and it's the final round, and the top five delegates will each be asked the very same final question. We begin with Kansas, but first... Will the other delegates please step over to the listening station and put on your earphones so you don't hear anything we're saying. Can you hear me? Raise your hand if you can hear me. That's good. Are you okay? You ready? This is your final question. You know that, right? This is good. What do you find most mind-boggling about the opposite sex? 
Oh my goodness, mind boggling. Gosh, I would just have to say, well, I have to think of my boyfriend with this question. Um, I would have to say the most mind boggling thing is when guys watch sports, they become coaches when they watch sports. I mean, they feel like the TV can hear them, which is great because I'm entertained just by sitting next to them, but that's one thing that's mind boggling to me. Yes. Thank you. And now, Indiana. Great job, everyone. Now it's all in the hands of these judges who will rank the top five in order of their personal choice. In other words, we are minutes away from the crowning of Miss USA 2002. The top five are being judged right now, and I am here with Candace Kruger, the reigning Miss USA. Okay, Candace, we have both been here before. It is down to that moment. The judges are voting. I remember what it was like just standing out there, just waiting and waiting for the verdict. Allie, I remember as well, just last year, but you know, there's nothing you can do. You've done all you can. Hopefully it was your best, and now it's just all in the hands of the judges. Well, you know, for me, it was, it was a weird combination of a relief and tension. What's going through their minds? I think just that. I think they're very relieved. Probably a little bit of praying, or maybe a lot of praying, and just hoping that their name is called at the end. Now, this is a pretty solid group. Did you pick any of these five? I picked, I picked four out of the five, actually. You're good. You're too good. Well, whoever wins Miss USA. Ladies, please, come down and join us. If for any reason the new Miss USA can't fulfill her duties, the first runner-up will take over. The first runner-up is... Kansas! And so, Miss USA 2002, District of Columbia! as Miss USA 2002. If you'd like more information about being a part of the Miss USA competition, go to our website at www.missusa.com. That's it, everybody. Game over. Thank you to Michael Bolton, Sarah Evans, Joe, Candace Kruger, and to Gary, Indiana. Good night, Good night everybody. everybody. God bless.